Hello everyone. In this video, let's discuss about the DAG representation of basic block. If you are new to our channel, please subscribe for more engineering related topics. So what is DAG? DAG is the Directed Acyclic Graph. Directed Acyclic Graph representation of the basic block. Now, we are having the two types of problems, one and two. Let's discuss both of them using two two examples so that you can solve every problem which will be related to directed acyclic graph representation. Now, <clears throat> so these all what you are having 1, 2, 3, 4, these will be called as the basic blocks which will be executed in a sequence, which will be executed in a sequence. So if you see the DAG representation of basic blocks, they will be having two parts. That is one will be the internal nodes, one will be the internal nodes and another will be the leaf nodes other will be the leaf nodes these internal nodes will be having the operators they will be having operators or result of the expression you can keep it as operators or results next leaf nodes will be having identifiers or constants identifiers or constants they will be having identifiers or constants. Now let's solve the problem. So first, A is equal to B plus C. So B and C combinedly form, that is B plus C will be equal to A. I told leaf node. Leaf nodes will be having identifiers or constants and internal nodes will be having the result. So B plus C, result will be depicted using A now. So A is here and the operator is also at the internal node itself. Now this is over. Next, A minus D is equal to B. A is already here. Minus D. So what will be my result? B. Next, B plus C. B plus C, my result will be C. Next, D is equal to A minus D. So A minus D is already done. So I can write comma D. So there is no need of representing again and again. A minus D was here. So I wrote here only. So B and D both will be having same expression. B and D that is A minus D and A minus D. Now let's dive into the second question. A is equal to B plus C. So B is here plus C. Next B is equal to B minus D. So B is equal to B minus D. B minus D. So what is the result? B minus B plus C was result was A and B minus D result is B. Now C is equal to C plus D. My C is here and my D is here. So if I add it, my output will be, my output result will be C. Next last one is there. E is equal to B plus C. So B plus C will be equal to E. Now we are done with two problem that is of the first type. Next let's go with the another type that is the problems having unary minus in them. So if you see after the star, star represent multiplication. After the star only we are having minus. So this minus can be called as unary minus. Unary minus. So this minus unary minus will be having more precedence than all of them. So what we will be doing minus C let's represent first minus c next b star minus c no b star minus c b star minus c now if you see b star minus c again here also b star minus c only there instead of writing twice i will be giving loops here only so what is in between them plus so b star minus c and b star minus c twice so this will be equated to a equal to a so this will be equated to a now let's go with the second question a star b plus c minus a star b plus c so both are same so we can write once at a time now let's represent a star b so a star b so a star b is done now plus c so a star b is done plus c so here also we are having a star b plus c. So I will give loop here only. Minus. 
because in between them minus is there. Now I must equate all this one towards the a. So it will be equated to a. Now if you see a equal to whole expression is in the right hand side. So this is the two possible cases that can be given under the DAG representation of basic block. Hope you understood the concept. If you like the video, please subscribe for more engineering related topics and please support us. Thank you.